What's going on guys? To intuitive 717 I am back with another reading, of course, hanging out with the bossy leaves, and we're going to dive right into some messages around the Divine Masculine Collective. Universe, please provide clarity to those who will find this reading. Guys, it could be the title that's already resonating with you. Let's see what your masculine wants to say. Okay, I'm being guided to keep the cards and read through the messages and just kind of see what the overall vibe is here, okay? So we have someone who gets emotional around you. Okay, it looks like they have things that are unresolved because they want you to wait on them. It sounds selfish to ask you to wait on them, but they're hoping that you know or you understand in some way, okay? I've matured a lot. I don't care for other people's advice. That's probably why they're wanting you to wait on them. It's because they're having to clear up um, just certain contracts with people, draw healthy boundaries, maybe put people in their place. I feel like maybe you two have disconnected because... This connection between you two, I feel like a lot of people are talking about it. Okay, I do feel like a lot of people have certain opinions. They have um, just certain ideas on what the masculine should be doing. And I feel like a lot of your masculines have let that affect them and the way that they've been communicating with you or the way that they've been maintaining or nurturing the connection with you. So a lot of, you know, coming in hot and heavy and then maybe... Um, all of a sudden being influenced by other people and then going cold on you for the next week or two and so it's been really disruptive to the connection but I feel like this is your distance from this person is teaching them to mature because I feel like the more they do this the more you're showing them through your distance and your silence that they need to think on their own two feet and they need to be sovereign they need to be independent it's just one of the lessons in this lifetime that we have to master which is to yes seek support and assistance from and help from others when necessary but a lot of the times we we do have to make decisions on our own and I feel like this is a masculine who <clears throat> like they struggle between the feelings and the emotions that they feel towards you look I get too emotional around you they struggle with how it is they feel versus like the logic about this connection now it's not going to resonate for everybody but let's say for example like you could be a parent you could be a mom okay many of you could be a parent Okay, it doesn't have to be a mom, you could be a parent. And this person now is all of a sudden saying, like, I don't know how that would fit into my life. And then they go talking to other people about it. And other people might be saying, hey, listen, like, you're a bachelor, you're single. Like, you really want somebody who <clears throat> who already has a kid? You really, like, and I feel like that's not the way your masculine feels on the inside. Because deep down inside, they don't care about that shit. They care about the genuine love and connection that they feel to you and how it is you make them feel when you two are together. But... I feel like a lot of people are shushuing around them, probably even just like being sarcastic about this connection between you two. And it's really making this masculine feel insecure, but it's because they need to rise above and command respect versus letting others talk at them. Okay, so many of your masculines are maturing in this area. Okay, you better watch how you talk when you talk about me. Because I'm gonna take your life away, many men. Okay, I don't know why I got caught up in that. <laughs> um, I just got that. You better watch how you talk when you talk about me. I got that message pretty straight there, okay? <clears throat> um, I talk to you in my head all day long. I feel like they're really seeking forgiveness because they know deep down inside after some separation with you, this is a clear indication and a clear message. And also, too, like whoever you are, you could be very queen of swords and you're teaching your masculine this lesson about how to put people in their place, how to let others know where they stand. It's like pulling out your sword and drawing a line in the sand and letting people know, don't fucking cross that line. So I feel like a lot of people who have been like shushuing or getting in your masculine's ear about this connection, a lot of your masculines are like, you don't have a say, mind your business. And a lot of your masculines are learning to refrain from discussing their business, okay? Um, I know about Twin Flames. I feel like this is a confirmation of them realizing that you're you're teaching them a particular lesson, okay? Um, yes, a lot of you may be parents, you may be mothers, single mothers. A lot of you could be younger than your masculine. Um, you could be a different race. You could be a different status. But at the end of the day... It doesn't matter because people can't say that you don't have your shit going on. You don't, you stay on top of your shit. I feel like a lot of people want to see you as this big cliche, but you are the exception to that cliche. Okay. I feel like people in your masculine circle, they so want to pin you down and look at you like you are a certain type of way. 
but you keep proving everybody wrong. I feel like everybody who is pointing the finger at you like this is now realizing they have three more pointed back at them because they don't have shit down pack like you do. They might have judged you once upon a time and the universe and your ancestors were like, oh no, you fucking don't. Here you go, instant blessings for my collective. Okay, and now all of a sudden you guys are just like 10 levels up, right? 10 steps ahead of these people who were once laughing at you, mocking you, judging you. They can't say that you you ask anybody for anything. You're completely independent. Some of you even make more money than, than your counterpart. Even though you may seem like you are some kind of stereotype or cliche in, in, the, in the 3D, and a lot of people so want to pin you down and point you down as something, they fucking can't. Time and time again, they can't keep a good man down. Always keep a smile when they want me to frown. Keep the vibes and I stood my ground. They will never, ever take my crown. Ciao, bless, is love. Right? That's what I feel for many of you. It's like they can't keep a good man down, keep a good woman down. Many of you have, you're proving that you have a lot of people in your masculine circle and you're proving them wrong left, right, and center to the point where your masculine's like they're drawn to you. They can't, like you are a better example than half these people that your masculines are dealing with. A lot of you have ambition, you have drive, and there's nothing that you can do. Give me an assignment and I will get it done. A lot of you carry this charge, okay? And it's a beautiful feminine charge as well. And it has nothing to do with you being balanced in masculine energy or you being masculine in any way. It is a beautiful feminine energy that says I embody all of my femininity and I know that I don't need anything outside of me because my connection to source is so high that I'm always provided with everything I need so you speak with authority because you know that you are your father's child okay so I don't know who needs to hear that but many of you have a lot of blessings where you embody a very very strong feminine energy that comes off as um, just 10 steps ahead of people Okay, and they so wanted to judge you and make you seem like you were going to turn out to be some kind of stereotype. <laughs> oh, I see people just kind of, you know, going quiet now. When your name comes up, people just kind of put their head down. You might be making more money than half these people that tried to judge you in the beginning when you had nothing. And the universe was like, let me fast forward on that shit. <laughs> and now a lot of these people put their head down when your name comes up at the table. Okay. I keep my distance, but I watch you, okay? They have no choice but to watch you because, again, you have a way of commanding respect. I'm going to get some cards on the feminine's energy as well, but this is basically where a lot of your masculines are at, and this is a lot of the dirt that's been, you know, brewing behind the scenes and behind the background with them and their people. But your masculines are maturing. How do people see you now? How do people see you now, divine feminine? What do you have going on now? Okay, these are way too many. Just one or two cards to work with, please, universe, so that I can make the message clear. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what's going on with it. Oh, making shit happen. They see you as the magician. That's why I'm saying instant blessings. They don't know how the hell you do what you do and so quickly, but you just do it. And it's because of your, your source, your connection to source, your, the authority. You, many of you don't care where you're from where you're born, how you're brought up, how you're raised, you just know that now in this present moment, you're going to do it. You're going to get it done. <laughs> I'm hearing, I don't know how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. <laughs> but still, you got it done. That might resonate with you, that like TikTok or that YouTube short. I don't know how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I feel like It's interesting here because this is the past, okay? This is how people might have seen you, okay? Yeah, you might have had a lot of love for this divine masculine, and I feel like a lot of people were like, <laughs> you, thinking that you're going to end up with this masculine? Yeah, right, and it's so funny because I ended up watching a Cinderella story last night, and if, I don't know if you guys have seen that with uh, Hilary Duff. And uh, there was a part in the movie where they were telling Austin Ames that, like, you know, Hilary Duff, who was the Cinderella diamond girl, that she didn't belong. Like, girls like that don't belong in our world, you know? So I feel like that was the case for many of you. And now a lot of you were like, of course I don't belong in your world. 
got that damn skippy. <laughs> That's what I feel like many of the divine feminines are saying through this card here. Of course, I don't belong in your world. Okay, so many of you have a divine masculine now that sees you here as this priestess energy here, always 10 steps ahead. And this is that feminine energy here, connection to source, connection to your ancestors, protection all around you, um, you know, very authoritative divine feminine energy. Um, it's because you have source behind you. It's because you never lose that faith, you know, and many of you take your hits and you take it with pride. Um, you take it humbly, you take it gently, um, and then you move past it and you get through it. Okay, so a lot of you are dealing with the divine masculine here who feels a lot of heavy regret for listening to the advice and maybe like, I don't know, like the gossip as well for some of you. Like they might have listened to like the gossip or the, the like the judgments upon you. Little, pe little did people know, like I feel like a lot of you in the feminine energy, you had this destiny, but you first had to go through this process of like humiliation. Like I feel like a lot of people looked at you when you first came into this masculine's life as you have no place here. Okay, many of you um, have experiences where karmics are like mothers or sisters or like ex like spouses and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of them looked at you in that energy where it's like you don't belong here. Okay, and that was for a reason. It's because you are out of this world <clears throat> in a sense, or at least the high priestess spends most of her time in the spiritual. And I feel like that is what that connection is all about is to source. And, and I feel like a lot of your masculines, you never let go of that, despite a lot of the betrayal or the judgments that you were feeling. I feel like a lot of you still stayed in your truth. Like if your masculine wanted to be distant, that was fine. But a lot of you maintain that it's like, no, like I understand my role. I understand my connection to you. And if you want to choose a different path, that's fine. But I'm not going to let that humiliate me or take away from my truth. I feel like a lot of people were waiting on you to do that. Right? Like watching your masculine listen to the advice of other people and choose a different path and like choose a different karmic situation. And they were waiting for you to be humiliated by this and walk away from your calling, walk away from your path, your journey. Um, but no, but no, no one's going to take away your, your growth. No one's going to take away your gifts that you've developed. No one's going to take away your calling. And I feel like that's what a lot of your masculines are witnessing now. Okay, so a lot of them are eagerly wanting to reach out and, and communicate, but I feel like it's going to be this slow process of humbling themselves in order to do that. Okay, but they learn a great deal from you, whoever you are. Like this feminine energy, whoever you are, you take all of these dark lessons, the dark night of the soul, the tower moments, and you really use it as a way of healing yourself. You know, I do see like some of you are probably like sick psychos. No, I'm just joking. But it's like <laughs> when you do go through the dark night of the soul, I could see many of you like, oh, yeah, bring it on. Like that kind of psycho energy of like I'm not as scared of the pain because I know that that pain is going to bring so much transformation. I can't wait to see what's at the end of, you know, all of this either like mistrust, betrayal, like a lot of you have been done pretty dirty here on the journey. But I see many of you having this high priestess energy where it's like you don't allow it to let you spiral out of control. You see the emotions, you put them on display, you pick it apart, you choose what you want to heal, you choose what you want to let go of, and I feel like you end up on top every single time. And for a lot of you out there, like you have people who have heavily misjudged you only to be proven wrong time and time again, okay? And it ends up leaving your masculine no choice but to continuously move in your direction okay guys so that's what i have for you guys for this one i will be live tomorrow um, at about 1 p.m eastern standard time so check out my community post go to hipsy.com and yeah book a reading with me guys i will definitely do um, a live reading with you you won't have to wait on any recorded reading from me it'll just be right there and then on the spot and if you do pre-book before tomorrow um, it does come at a discounted rate as well. So I would love to just chit chat with you guys in the live and say hello and, um, you know, actually ask you questions back and forth. Like if I do a reading for you, I can ask you, like if a card comes up, I can just type in the chat. Hey, by the way, has so-and-so happened or occurred? And it's great to have you guys just type it back and communicate with me in that way, going live with one another. So yeah, please check out the community board if you guys are guided. Book your spot with me. I'll be tomorrow doing live readings, book your spot so that way I can focus in on what's happening with you if you guys do need clarity, okay? All right, guys, take it easy, and me and the Bossy Beeps will catch you in the next reading, okay? Bye, guys.